When I get you to build cool apps, whether you share them with me or not, I feel like I succeeded as a content creator. What you're about to see is something a subscriber sent in, and it's not a bad representation of Discord, where I have to tell you, hey, this is supposed to be Discord, so you can be like, mm, okay, I guess I kind of see the resemblance. No. Check this out. This is the app and it looks exactly the same as Discord. We have all the states right here. It looks as if somebody sent us a friend request that we have pending, as if somebody sent us messages. There are servers we can scroll right here on the left hand side and of course we have our friends list and everything looks exactly the same as in Discord. And if I reload this page, check out what happens. There are some beautiful loading states that we can see right here for the friends list, for the direct messages and so on. It's really, really well well done. And let me show you exactly what you can learn from this project. So first off, front end design. That is one of the main features. This is purely design at the moment. If I click on an actual chat, the functionality for the chat would be there um, in terms of routing, but not in terms of the actual chat. So we can see the people are online. This is mock data. I'm going to get to that in a second. All the icons, all the design stuff is already done. Just the actual functionality of chatting with people isn't yet just purely design wise, how this feels, how you can scroll, how you interact with this app right here at the bottom. We can mute ourselves. We can deafen ourselves. These tiny interactions with these icons and the tooltips you can always see right here on the right hand side, it says the actual name of what we're hovering over. It's the attention to detail I find so fascinating in this app because it's all just like in the real discord. Now, what else can you learn? Proper loading states. I quickly mentioned that earlier, the loading states are really well done in this app. Now, one bit weird design choice I find is making a separate page slash skeleton that just shows a loading skeleton. I don't know why he did that, but it allows us to beautifully see how the loading states looks like. So for the DMs, even with the text right here, if we scroll over, it says direct messages. Even that is mocked out the attention to detail, right? And the friends page and so on. So if you want to learn how to properly handle loading states in Next.js, this is a really good source to do so. Then mocking data. This is seriously underrated. In this app, this is handled by Faker.js. We can see that in this page right here under the util slash mock. If you want to take a look at it yourself, we are essentially generating a random number. That's going to be our Discord ID and then also a current user. So everything you can see in the friends list. If we go over here, all the friend data, like the online states, the names, the images and so on, they're all mocked data. But if you actually implemented the functionality, you could easily use these online statuses and images and so on yourself without mocking the data. So just the foundation is super well laid out for you to implement functionality yourself. And lastly, the folder structure. Now don't get caught up in folder structure. It's not nearly as important as you might think if you're a beginner dinner the only purpose of a folder structure is to make it easy for you and maybe your team to go through the project. Don't obsess over it, but one remark I want to make about this folder structure, for me, it was really easy to get to the correct components. I looked through this repo to make this video and it was really easy to go and find the correct components. That's why I like the folder structure with DM and skeleton. Now, again, I wouldn't make that skeleton design choice myself with a separate page, but the components are all nicely separated into different groups. And that's what I really appreciate about this repo as well. And then lastly, what I mentioned a lot, add functionality, things you can add to make this repo even more awesome than it is. Design wise, it's A plus. And I think the author is currently working on the functionality, but this is a perfect opportunity for you to implement real-time chat functionality yourself. I've done a video in the past that exactly shows you how to do this. So this is a perfect template for you to do it. Hey, I hope you enjoy this project as much as I do. I honestly feel so proud when I get you to build cool things, whether you share them with me or not, just build cool stuff because that's the best way to become a really good developer. This is a perfect opportunity for you if you're not so design focused to extend on the functionality without having to worry about the design at all. So get building. I'm going to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and until then have a good one and bye bye.